Thomas and friends. Toby in trouble. One day, Percy arrived at the quarry to collect some stone for his tracks. It was a cold, snowy day, and he found Marvis sheltering by some rocks. Cheer up, Marvis, he said. The manager says, I don't do as I'm told, Marvis said. You must put the trucks where he wants them, Marvis, Percy said. But Marvis didn't listen. She had been told not to go down Toby's line, but she went to the first level crossing. Next time, will you bump me at the level crossing? She asked the tracks. Yes, 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 the tracks agreed. When Toby arrived, Marvis wasn't there, so he decided to shunt the tracks himself. They reached the level crossing and Toby's brakes came on, but the tracks didn't stop. They remembered what Marvis had told them. The snow was melting fast and the stream ahead was like a river. The bridge had collapsed, leaving the railway line like a tight rope over the water. Stop pushing, hissed Toby to the tracks. His driver fought for control. At last, Toby stopped, but his wheels were on the tight rope. Marvis was horrified. She came quickly to the rescue. She pulled the trucks away and helped Toby to safety. I'm sorry about the trucks, she said. How did you stop them? I didn't fancy being a tightrope walker, Toby said. Later, the fat controller arrived. A very smart piece of work, Toby, he said. And Marvis, you did well too. It was my fault about the truck, sir, she said. But if I could go down Toby's line sometimes, he could show me what to do. A good idea, said the fat controller. Now, Marvis takes great care and is becoming a really useful engine.